Well, it goes without saying that I'm new to the FT897. It just came in the mail a few days ago. And I have to say, I was probably stuck in the past a bit because way back when, I think I, I still have the old uh, ICOM 735 and a few other radios, but nothing new enough to have a DSP or a tuning indicator. And uh, Steve GM0HUU commented on the last FT897 video where I was noticing that it was pretty noisy when you listen to CW with the current set of filters. So he suggested, and uh, correctly so, that I try out both the narrowband DSP and the CW tuning indicator. Well, it's uh, something like almost two in the morning, so there's not many stations on, but I do have my favorite numbers station, and it can provide a simulated CW station, I guess. So you can see the tuning indicator work when I get the pitch correct. So I didn't even know I had that, but I do. So apparently that puts me at about 700 Hertz. And the next thing I found is how to turn on the DSP. So uh, you press the DSP button once momentarily. That gives you this DSP menu. Then I had to figure out what DNR, DNF, and DBF are. So here they are. They are the CW peaking filter, or I guess bandpass filter and the CW noise reduction for a DSP noise reduction and the DSP notch filter. So you can see that the noise reduction does something, which is fairly significant. And then the bandpass filter does quite a lot more. So that sounds a lot like, as he said, a 300 Hertz filter. It's actually a 240 hertz filter, I guess, on the according to the manual. And then uh, as long as you're not hit by adjacent signals, it, I guess it would work well. And then on top of that, you can turn on the dynamic noise reduction or DSP noise reduction. And it does make a slight bit of difference, a slight improvement. Anyway, if that was a CW signal, I think that'd be plenty copyable. So that's my uh, quick update. And again, thanks again, Steve, for pointing out both DSP and the tuning indicator. We'll get on the air yet. I ordered a couple of batteries and uh, the tuner to fit on the side of this, so I'll post some videos soon. Thanks for watching.